I'm Samuel Dorsonen and uh, I'm the visual effect producer of Iron Sky. And in this episode we are going to talk only about visual effects, CGI, explosions, spaceships, whatever. The cool things, not the acting, not the directing. Who cares about those? <sighs> it's hot in here. We are now here at Energia Production Offices and uh, it's about, uh, about 40 degrees plus. And uh, of course, the computers are rendering all the time and, uh, and they need to, because we have roughly about 800 shots to complete. Practically speaking, what are we doing here? There's 20 guys here, no girls, I'm afraid, no girls. And there's a huge variety of things we are doing. It's not only about the spaceships. There is huge amount of those, of course, because I'm creating the visual effects and uh, I enjoy making really nice space battles. There's quite a lot of wire removal because we have those zero gravity th shots and, uh, and those are actually quite pain to do. Then there is of course the set extensions that are quite crucial in this production. Our main idea has been from the day one that everything that is beyond 10 meters that will be CGI and uh, within the 10 meters that will be real. So, you might wonder why actually a small house like Energy Productions is responsible for all the 800 visual effects shots in this film. Well, the answer is very simple. We are a very cost-efficient company, especially when it comes to this production. Uh, I have a long history with the director Timo. We started in, in, in 1997 when we were producing the first Star Trek. He was only acting there actually, <laughs> but uh, our joint venture get bigger and bigger and we created the next Star Trek. And, uh, and actually I, I can understand Timo quite well and uh, I can translate his wishes to quite cost efficient visual effects. Our cooperation is, is very crucial in this production actually. I would say that no other company could ever produce these visual effects at this pace and, and so cost efficiently. We have here two teams basically. One is the compositors led by Yuuso. He's uh, preparing the shots, removing the green color and uh, of course removing the wires and uh, adding the uh, CGI extensions. He's responsible for combining all the elements to one shot. We have quite an international team. We have people working on this film from all around the world. We have guys from Australia, UK, France and from USA as well. Our Lightwave team leader Kelly Myers came from all the way from Canada and where he was working on Balsar Galactica a few years ago. I thought it was wonderful to get somebody on board who has actually been working on space battles. So I'm not alone, thank God. <laughs> Many of you have been wondering what software do we use. We use two 3D softwares. We use Autodesk Maya and then we use Nutex Lightwave 3D. For compositing we use Nuke. It's a program from Foundry. We of course, we use Adobe's Creative Suite, well, in many places. And the reason why there is so hot in here is because we are rendering all the time. Actually, if, if the computers are not rendering, then we have failed somewhere. <laughs> and uh, we have roughly about 40 computers here. And this time we don't have the luxury of using seven years to render stuff like in Star Trek. Uh, so, so we need to have quite a lot of computers. And the big thanks goes to Jim's PC store. They provided us the render farm. 24 kick-ass computers here rendering all the time and of course without rendering there wouldn't be any film. I made pretty extensive calculations on what are the optimum computers for rendering. You need to take into account of course the heat they produce, their efficiency, their price and I ended up with Intel 
uh, i7 computers, the latest processors and with 16 gigabytes of RAM. They are enough for us, although they have only four cores, but they are still really fast. Also, some of you have been wondering, are we using the GPUs for rendering? We cannot use them for rendering. It, they, are quite, they are meant for very specific use only. So only the CPU's speed and the memory amount is relevant. We have roughly about 40 rendering computers here. Of course, half of them are in everyday use on daytime, but during nighttime we use every computer for rendering. And we need to have also a rendering management program and we use RenderPal. It's quite nice little software and uh, it has served us really nicely. Thank you for watching this very informative uh, Iron Sky Signal and uh, hopefully you got something out of, of this. And uh, I, I'll try to keep you guys updated on the production during these four months. And I, I will be posting some images and some videos. Uh, yeah, We have a night shift here as well and uh, all that interesting stuff is happening here. So stay on the channel and... Uh... Alright guys, this is Timo Vorensola and I'm going to be thanking a whole bunch of people next because... This is the one thing that we promised in conjunction with the race, which was a big crowdfunding race for Iron Sky. And we promised to thank in the next Iron Sky Signal all those who participated in the crowdfunding effort. So here it comes. Thanks, very special thanks go to the following people. Frank Twenty, Jonas Linkola, Mikko Ikäheimonen, Rebecca Sutton, Erik Hoimeyer, Markus Scheidigen, Mikael Xavier, C. Bulanger, Danny Small, Jared Cloud, David Bobrov, Carl L., Anna Crockfors, Chris Johnson, Darren Welsh, Jeremy Lothen, Dr. Professor's Thesis of Evil, Okoko, Nicholas Kingsley, Joni Tolvanen, Jack Rath, T.J. Herbert, Sorim Porumboi, Jean Culling, Kelly Graham, Simon O'Connor, Paul Carter, Uwe Kulai, Chris Johnson, Thierry Steenbergs, Alan Hilleltuch, J.K., Jaakko Setälä, Matt Sims, Patrick Brooks McCarthy, Marco Sivola, Graham Tyson, Chris Greening, Aike Hoverman, Erzbaron, Silko Pilash, Julian Hanar, uh, Julian Hanhart, Hurricane, Joachim Bergt, Anjor, Anjorka Stretchel, McNuschel, Movie Brats, Films and Animation, Smartenol, OCP, DST, Zweilicht, Bootsfrau, Steel X, Mike Erhard, Rolf K, Beklopt, Mario Damian, Digital Summit, Mima, Yugoth, EMI, Matthias Kröner, Knuts Knut, K. Makiri, Unregarded, Der Kalle, Vaan, Rob, Sven Linker, Tino Kressner, In Nomiko, In Nomin, in no me knock Baldovi, Vince, William B, Suopo, Green Princess, Skymander, Ios Sutron, Jab Harders, P1R, MPOBER, and several other peoples who specifically wish not to be mentioned. Thanks again, thanks a lot, and uh, thanks for following, thanks for supporting. Your effort has been noted and uh, is highly respected. Thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you again in the next episode of Iron Sky Signal. Until then, take it easy.